Hi everyone, I'm here at Hobby Lobby. Why don't you shop with me? Look at these adorable Santa mugs. These are really retro, very classic. Probably all had these growing up and maybe even have them now. So they had a variety of those. Sorry for my finger in the way. I'll get on in a second. They had these other mugs. Nice selection of mugs. All the Christmas stuff is 40% off. And then they have the classic mugs done in this minty kind of green. I love that color, but I really prefer them done in the classic colors. Oh, the Grinch mug. But that one had a heftier price tag. That was like $14.99. And I know it was 40% off, but still. Mary Sithmas. All kinds of stuff. They had lots of buffalo checks. These would be really nice for cricket blanks, wouldn't they be? Put something on there, someone's name or some kind of Christmas word or, you know, be merry, something like that. This exact truck is the one that had I picked up in Walmart and it was a dollar ninety-eight regular. So I mean you can see a lot of things. These little mugs, these would look so great with Davida's little food, little cocos and things like that. And I believe they were um, like $2.99, 40% off. So Davida, you better run out and get those and your little cricket, you can make a little, you can write a little saying on that cup. You like that. So plates and things, um, towels, plaids, and everything is not out, at least at this Hobby Lobby. It's not that it's sold out, they just haven't uh, put it out yet. Oh, look, lots of squirrels and seeing, seeing that out for fall. And their fall stuff is also 40% off. Look at this. Really vintage, right? Oh, I love it. Lisa D would love that. And maybe I should get that for Lisa D. Don't look at my messy pocketbook below my receipts. Um, yeah, I love that. See what else we find. Lots of Christmas ornaments. Those are the uh, those are the ones that don't shatter or something. Buffalo easy buffalo check um, trees. You could easily recreate those with just a cone and some fabric. Purell station. Gingerbread. They they usually always have the gingerbread, but I don't remember seeing this a little red truck on like a press board. I have some of these gingerbread guys. I think I'll marshmallows. Can't catch me. Very cute. So gingerbread houses and gingerbread. I I, I like this. I didn't get it. I like it though. Cute. Bought Jimmy a scroll saw. He could easily make those for me, but uh, I think I've seen two little hearts come out of that scroll saw that he wanted. Look at all the color. Trees, but I'm going to tell you, you're probably going to do better off buying them in Walmart, which I'll show you later. Lots of stuff for the miniature trees. Now, I did buy these because I, when I make those little miniature houses, those little... Um, I want to call them um, puts houses, right? Puts houses. I use those, and those are tiny. And the end, but I did find some in Walmart, not that small. So I'm glad I got those. But the other trees that I just showed you, you're going to get a better deal in Walmart. Walmart actually had a lot of the ornaments that they have like much cheaper and I saw that in Michael's last year that little exact little letters from Santa little red mailbox was in Michael's for eight dollars and it was a dollar ninety eight at uh, Walmart so I did pick up those and let's continue I looked at these dogs but they didn't have any uh, no dachshunds no Westies no Maltese well I don't know if that was, they just didn't look very Maltese, and I have some nice Maltese and stuff. 
we'll go on. We go to more uh, dogs later on. The little tree skirts, but I picked up a really nice retro one at Walmart, and I have one from the Dollar Tree too. So I'm set on those. Okay, lots of mini ornaments in all different kinds. But I picked up some really nice ones at Walmart, so stay tuned and watch my hauls because you'll really like them. If this is the kind of stuff you're interested in. These are really cute. They do have a little wooden spool. That would be something to use those wooden spools that I have in that sewing box. And I saw them with larger trees too. I'm going to probably try to recreate that. But you can just buy wooden spools too at the craft store. Which is like this. Yeah, make them yourself. I think I'm going to do some of those. Sounds like fun. And I noticed that those retro trees like I got last year... Um, at the Christmas tree shops they had one and I thought oh it's expensive it actually was the cheapest but I did buy one at Walmart last year for $1.98 an ornament one and I did get another one for three dollars so it actually was the cheapest but it didn't have a little container but I can put it in one I'll show it to you you have to watch my other videos lots of trees they're just getting all this stuff out Lots of different style ornament hangers. I'm seeing that too, and I'm seeing them at Walmart. Those were like clippy ornament hangers to make sure that they are secure. Okay. Now, these are some of the things I'm going to show you about those balls, those mini print balls. They can be used for these sweater type ornaments. Now, they have these in the Dollar Tree too, believe it or not. I couldn't find a price on these. I really wanted to find out. But that's something you can do with, with mitten scraps or sweater scraps. Wrap those balls up like that. Put them in a bowl. Hang them on the tree. Whatever. You can do that. You can do it with fabrics too. It's a great idea. And look at this. Here's another item that they have at Walmart that was more expensive here. I got this at Walmart for like a dollar or something. And here it was um, $3.99. Now I know, yeah, it's 40% off. But it's still cheaper at Walmart, even with the 40% off. Very retro, though. Love it. And lots of Christmas balls and picks and Santas and ornaments. And here's another... Um, paper one coming up right there and then they actually have these my kids make these all the time they actually have those made glitter paper and you can easily do it yourself and my kids have a ball doing it I have a bigger one. I was really trying to decide on this, but then I wasn't sure. So. Stick stuff, lots of deer, lots of natural materials, twigs, and branch cutoffs, things like that, antlers. Oh shoot, that's my heart on some more stuff. I need this to see if it's the other one that was responsible. These are really cute. These remind me of retro. I used to have those. I did pick up one of those. I believe they were. Sweater balls, plaid wrap balls, and oh yeah, these uh, innings that you can get those. They're angels and they're in the center of them. So I did 
Did you pick those up? Pick those up. Oh, balls, all kinds of balls, and sets of three. Big, big. Yeah. And be. yeah. These very similar to the dollar store ornaments, those trees, um, you know, I, I picked those up. The ones with the deer, they had those I know last year at the Dollar Tree, and I believe. And then these little lanterns, very cute. A um, little greenery on the top of them. That's a buffalo check. I did buy one of those houses last year. I love those houses. I can't just walk away from those. I was going to buy these, but then I, I remembered I think I have a set of these from Michael's or something, and or Joanne's. I forget what they are. It might be a little bit bigger, but they actually have lights in them. So I did pass on those because I believe I have those. Or something very, very similar. Alright, so just more balls of all different kinds. Um, galvanized ornaments. Love these little basket ornaments. I got these in mini for the tree. They had those doors. Um, now Dollar Tree had those last year. Not in white, but in red. And I actually like Dollar Tree's red better. Their red was a little bit bigger, but I like the wreath they had on it better. The white door was kind of cute, but I, I have a bunch of red doors from last year. Galvanized ornaments, campers, and the galvanized now. If you have a galvanized theme, little horsey. Let it snow, the, the black and white buffalo check, big pine cones. There's your whites over there. Lots of white, if that's your theme. Everything 40% off right now. Little churches, and those are cute. I'm still thinking about these. Oh boy. Decisions, decisions, decisions. But then I ended up. I'm sure that I have something very similar. I have little churches in, in it, but they remind me so much of those puts houses. Oh gosh, I was going crazy. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I think I did put them in the cart just so I could decide, but don't get nervous. I know you're probably like, oh my gosh, don't leave your cart in it. I know, I know. There was like nobody there. I was watching. Don't worry about it. I was really watching. Okay, stockings. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Tree skirts. Red truck design. Buffalo check. Trees. Trees, trees, trees. Okay. Stuff over there. I think I did get something over there. Let me see. It was laying down or something. There's the red truck. Lots of those in all those stores. Oh, here was the um, the spool tree. You see, it's on a spool. They actually put something on it and they stuck one of those trees on. I'm going to try to recreate those. Going to get some wooden spools. And I think those look cute. A ribbon. Store on the top of the tree. Um, lots of what I'm seeing, um, faux boxes wrapped in the tartan plaids, the flannel plaids, stuff like that, with a little greenery on them. You can easily recreate that. There were some more of those school trees right above those guys. They were in the bigger size. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. And then I said, oh, I can rec recreate it. I know I can. Lots of signs. Jingle bells, big ones, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Lights, camera action. Ribbons and that uh, netting stuff, the wreaths, whatever. Some greenery items, lots of ribbons, tartans. All kinds of it. Those were actually pumpkins and elves. I have those elves. I did get some other elves. Um, I always get the like the ones that look like the knee elves. I always get them. Love them. Okay, let's roll on. Roll on. Lots and lots of 
picks and stuff to make flower arrangements, centerpieces, wreaths to put people put those in their trees. Okay, so we're gonna go over this way. white truck, yeah, we're seeing it in all different colors that come. I did get one of those cardinals. Get in the cart, you're coming home. Come on, get in there. In the cart, cardinal. Let's go. Bigger cardinals, look at that. Really nice. Oh. Now, I could not remember for the life of me if I bought there's those retro trees that I'm talking about with the balls, but they had these, oh, this was like all retro. They had these retro like carolers, oh, so cute. But see the elves there on the bottom, I did get two of those. But the deer, I can't remember if I got that deer last year. I know somebody bought me one from Walmart, but I couldn't remember if I got, I don't think I did. I think I didn't get the deer, but I got the little one of the retro signs last year. And then I got a couple of these elves. These go home with me. I've been buying these over the years like crazy. Um, not only from Hobby Lobby, but all over because I have the Japanese knee shelves that my knee shelves, knee elves from my mother. And that's why some of the reason I love the elf on the shelf and I buy some just for decoration too. I love them. I love them as decorations. I love them. But I have those from like the early 90s too and I went back and I got another one and I'll show you they had this retro Merry Christmas I love oh my gosh I wish I should have got those they had the deer in pink oh this is killing me to look at this again so cute have a cup of cheer. That's a really cute little retro sign. They didn't have the retro sign that I got last year, so I'm glad I got it because it has the deer on it. But I don't know why I'm thinking I got that deer. I, I couldn't remember. I kept picking it up. I can remember. This was so cute, but, but the price was a little steep, so. Santa's on this way. It's really cute retro. Snowmen, and I want to recreate these, the cricket and stuff. That would be easy to paint, I think. Right there, that. And they have these little TVs. Have a cup of cheer. Have a cup of cheer. And a jolly Christmas. 9.99, 40% off, but still. And there's those retro trees, but they were much more expensive here than at the Christmas tree shop. They were $14. The Christmas tree shop, they came in like a, a little planter leaf thing, and they were uh, $7.99. But then I saw them at Walmart for $3 without that. I got those, and look, this is the sitting deer. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get the sitting deer because I know I don't have him. And then I was like, how much is he? And I think he was like $19.99. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Sorry. 
It's a little too rich for my blood. Nutcrackers. diamond painting. It probably would have been in that area. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, Grinch cookie jars, red truck cookie jars, greenery wreaths. Cute. Very, very cute. Gingerbread cookie jars. Pillows. I want to look at these for a minute. Their little furniture and acts and pieces seem very overpriced to me most of the time. You know, I've seen people get good deals on YouTube, but I don't really find that myself. Lots of Christmas wood crafts, and there's the cones that you can use like wrap with fabric and make those trees. Especially if you have fabrics, then those wood pieces. You know, I'm showing these to show that there's a lot of really good good deals at the Dollar Tree, like when you get those wood pieces and stuff, you're paying a lot less than when you buy them in an arts and crafts store like Hobby Lobby or Michael's or something. You're really getting a good deal at the Dollar Store. Dollar Tree on those. Oh, I asked her where... what did I want to find here? I wanted something... Um, oh! The scrapbook frames. So that's where I was off to next. The frames are 50% off, and I picked up one of the 12 by 12s for um, the sunflower. And I ended up going down this aisle first on the way there. We have all kinds of kits for kids. Again, uh, ooh, you know, you could get your 40% off of your coupon if it's not on sale, but really check with Amazon and stuff too. I mean, I don't know. I'm all about supporting business and local business if you have it, but I also would like to see fair pricing, you know what I mean? Um, because if something's going to be a few cents difference, a dollar difference, okay. But if so, there's a $10 difference, a, you know, sorry, I'm going to get it where it's $10 cheaper. It's five dollars cheaper. I'm gonna get it. It's five dollars cheaper. That's, that's the way I am. I'm, they want my business. They should. Their prices should be down to earth. And then someone say, "Oh, well, they have an overhead. They have store. They have this. They have that." Okay, great. But you know, everybody's trying to 
stretch their money as far as it'll go and get the best bang for your buck. And I'm sorry, I just, you know. But their frames were 50% off, so I did ask the woman because I couldn't find them. And then she found it, and I did get a couple in there, but they all stay also gone. It's time to go to the other side of the store where we find some bargains. Um, let's see. None of that 90% off craziness that these other people are talking about. Just don't see that. So let's go. And see what's going on. Oh yeah, these were really cute. They caught my eye, these little boxes. Pineapple. And... Dogs and cats. A little baby carriage. A little hedgehog. Very cute. And then like the Murano type glass on the other side. These are really cute little boxes. Very cute. Very cute. And then this Murano type glass. Pineapple again. And this wall art. And lots of accents for your house. Okay, and we're going to just keep going here. We'll hurry it up until we get to the other side. Back to the other side of the store because I had to get another elf. And I'll show you I found something. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show my daughter this. This, you see this? Bears. Oh my gosh, I got them. That bear of daughter's like so definitely afraid of bears and Lucas like he's always asking other brown bears there. I love this. I did get this. 
it was 50% off. Um, it says, what doesn't kill you makes you will make you stronger, except bears. They will kill you. <laughs> like, I, oh my gosh, my daughter's going to freak, freak out on that. It's so cute. It's like a tin sign that one on the Get in the cart. Get in the cart. Come on, can you run until spark? Gone on forever. The bear stuff. I got them these bear streaking beer ones. Um, well, I got the other one and I wanted the one back. Got them for a really good deal. They're like wooden black signs, which is really cute. And I said maybe that'll make you feel better about bears. There's the three people. And I know you're ready to get a huge kick out of that. So. Okay, so then I was like, okay, that to be else. But then I was like, oh, 75% off left. So, yeah, oh, great. Oh, what a selection. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, these cute little signs. It's a wonderful life. You see that? That's like my It's a Wonderful Life shirt the other day. You can keep that out all year. But I can make some like that with my cricket, so I'm like, eh, don't need it. I can make it. Alright, so I ended up going down here and looks like they were in the middle of stocking it. They have these little galvanized houses, but they were a little pricey. Um, I know, I'm always looking for like a really good deal. Anyway, one of those trees, and then I went here, and there was Scotty Dog Palooza. Well, I couldn't believe it because they had this Westie, and I was like, oh, and I was like, oh, that's so cute, and there was only one Westie left, and there were a few Scotty Dogs left. Scotty Dogs are so cute. They look a little snowshery, but I was like, they're so cute. Okay, but then I'm like, I'm looking at the Westie, I'm like, well, I have to get the Westie. And then, oh, look at that, that's so cute, because it has like that acrylic on it. And then there was this Westie um, calendar, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's too cute. And so I didn't know, and, I, and then I had the Tartan Bells, so I put the Westie up there, and then I looked at him, and I'm like, I don't like his face, it doesn't look as, as nice as the Westie, and the pillows, and... I was really, really conflicted, and then I was like, I didn't have to make my decision because I noticed that. Look at the Scotty, I didn't even know that. But that's easy to make on that plaid. See, that's so cute. But I did get that. So the Westie looks like a Westie. But the other thing, I just didn't think the Westie looked like itself, and then I noticed the tail was broken. And the Scotty looked so cute, but I'm like, they're not giving it away, you know? It's 40% off, and they were like $14.99 or something, and then 40% off. And I was like, I was really conflicted, and I was going to get the Scotty because they were my, my mother's uh, favorite dog, too, even though she never had one. But I did get the little calendar with the Westie, and I was like really, really conflicted. So I find out that the Westie's tail is broken, so that made, there's like, um, let's see what I'll show you. So, oh. So that made that decision easy, and then I kind of see going crazy. Do I get the Scotty? Do I not get the Scotty? Do I get it? Do I not? Should I get it? Should I not? And uh, I was like trying to be a minimalist and all of that, and I, I walked up by a little bit, and then I was like, mm. and then I was like, oh, this is the perfect size. And I just got this one because it matches like one I got from the antique shop. And I do have a uh, ornament with the Scotty. It's really heavy. So I got that little one. I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I did. I got the little one. You're saying you should have got the bigger one. And then I found the other elves there. So it was meant to be. So I put them in there. Right? And I'm strolling along. Strolling along. And... 
there's no place at home for the holidays, and I'm strolling along here. And lots of nativity stuff, right? And I'm just strolling along. And I'm like, oh, these are really pretty. These are so nice. And then I go and um, keep going, keep going. And I see these. I'm like, these are really pretty. These are really pretty. I wonder what these are. And I'm like, get out of Dodge. They're three dollars and ninety-nine cents and forty percent off. Just they're so pretty. They almost look like Yadro-esque in person. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that for the top of Ray urn, top of Ray's urn. And I'm gonna get one for my son Michael. And then I'm like, how many are there? And like there were four left, right? And I said, I'm sorry, I got all four. And when I got to the register, the person in front of me had one. And I saw those people in there before me, so I know that's like a super good deal because they came out to like two something and you are not going to find something that nice in the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, you're not. That is gorgeous. I found like little wooden nativities they used to have in the Dollar Tree, but then not like this. This These were gorgeous. So I did pick those up. And... My good precious moment stuff. And I was getting those activities are so gorgeous. And I was deciding on the four. I'm like, ah, oh, I'll probably give one to my daughter. I don't know. I'm going to want one maybe like upstairs in my bathroom. Right? But these are so beautiful. So I just said, oh, I'll get one. You know, I'll get another one that's too good to pass on. It's just too good. And I mean, it's the meaning of the season, so I did pick those up. They're really nice. I'll show you them in my haul. I'll do a haul of what I got at the Hobby Lobby so you can see. I kept going back and forth because they were actually all a little different. They weren't like mass produced, they were like hand painted, you know, it's you know, they're all a little different and colors that were used and they were really cute. So got those and I said, Carolyn, we've got to be on our merry way because we have a lot of places to stop still. And I think at this point I'm deciding to get going. Um but just taking a look again, and then let's see. I did something up here, did catch my eye. A couple of things that. Alright, but then I said, come on, come on, we have to go, we have to go. And then we have to go. So, I'm going to the store again. Of course, I get stuck at the retro stuff all the time. There's lanterns. Um, none of their trimies work. It's so weird. But, um,. What happens is like they bubble and stuff. I'll show you in, in Walmart, in my Walmart shop with me. So make sure you watch it if you want to see lots of these retro trees, bottle brush trees, presents with like natural materials. And there we go. Where we have it, guys. Galvanized stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for my Hobby Lobby haul and my other shop with me and hauls if you like this. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.